But this storm was supposed to shut down the whole city. I'm downtown Main Street Square right now. Most stuff is closed. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Uh, if you don't know me already, I'm Christian Morrison, local real estate agent here in the Rapid City, Black Hills area. Uh, and I made this YouTube channel just for everybody looking at moving here to answer all their questions, that type of thing. So um, if you got any questions or think about moving to the area, feel free to reach out, uh, call me, text me. The best way to get a hold of me is click the link below that says schedule a call with me and you'll get on my calendar and I'll give you a call. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get into today's video. So I would say the number one thing that people are scared of or dislike about Rapid City is going to be the weather for sure. And a lot of questions I get, um, not on YouTube, but like people call or when they come here and visit, that type of thing is how bad does the weather actually get? Does it get to be, you know, is it freezing all of winter? Is it always horrible? Well, this video is to show you the worst of the worst of how bad the weather actually gets in Rapid City. Now, here's a little caveat. This is just for Rapid City. The weather can be drastically different throughout the Black Hills. Uh, like in Rapid City, we get an average of, I believe, 35 inches a year of snow. Um, and if you go up to Leed and Deadwood, which is like in the mountains, they get like 130 inches a year. So it varies a lot depending on where you are. The more in the mountains, the more snow you get. Um, but where Rapid City is in particular, gets the least amount of snow. Now we do get heavy snows a couple times a year and we just had one yesterday, December 13th, uh, that was quote unquote blizzard um, and was supposed to get a ton of snow. And typically here, when they say there's gonna be a ton of snow, there is either more than they said <laughs> or way less. And yesterday happened to be quite a bit less than they said, which is usually the case, honestly. Now I went into town yesterday and braved the cold for you guys just to show you like a life footage of what it's actually like in the middle of one of these storms, what the town is kind of like, what the roads are like. So I'm gonna have that footage for you here in just a second. But just wanna say, I was actually having a conversation last night with one of my best friends who's from Canada, uh, where the winter is way worse than here. And we were having this discussion of, both of us have lived in areas with way worse winters than here. And so we were like, honestly, if you're gonna be anywhere where it snows, this is probably one of the best spots to be, if not the best. Because the reason we both said that is, you get snow here, yeah, but it warms up. Um, and I personally like snow. I like to get snow. I like the change of seasons. So we get snow, which I love, and I can go in the hills and get way more snow if I wanted to, but then it's gonna warm up. Sometimes it takes a week or so to warm back up, but it always warms back up at some point, melts the snow off, and then it'll be kind of normal weather. Then we'll get snow again, then it warms up, melts off. So you get both, but you're not frozen all year. Like I used to live in South Bend, Indiana, and there in the winter, it's cold and snowy, basically the entire time. Here it is not that way at all. Um, it warms up um, and the winters are not that bad and they're not that brutal. Now I will say the earliest I've ever seen it snow is September and the latest I've ever seen it snow is the beginning of May. So that's a big window the snow could come in, but that September when it snowed, the rest of the month was like 50s and 60s. Same thing in May, it was like 60s and 70s, except for those couple days that it snowed. So you can have some of that, it can go a big, you know, a big gap in the year but it usually melts off pretty quick. This year and last year have been extremely mild winters. Last year, I only had to shovel my driveway probably like twice. It's not that bad at all. And this year, I haven't had to shovel my driveway at all yet. Even from this storm, mainly because it was so windy and my driveway didn't get any snow on it. Now, without further ado, let's get into conditions. All the footage I took yesterday of like the um, red, first clip you'll see, first part of it, you'll see residential road um, in my neighborhood. You're gonna see a highway and you're gonna see like kind of one of the main roads through Rapid City and then some footage from downtown. Let's get into it. All right guys, so this first clip here is from my neighborhood. And no, I'm not holding it while I'm driving, my wife is. <laughs> so this is in the neighborhood. You can kind of tell it's so windy that some parts have no snow, depending on where the buildings are. And this part like right in front of me has a lot of snow. And so there's a couple of big drifts like that. All right, so now I'm on the highway here, going about 50, 55 miles an hour probably. You can tell it's super clear, partly because they clear these roads and put a lot of ice a slicer down but also because it's windy and the wind is blowing it off the street here. Last clip of the roads here is Omaha Street, which is the main road through Rapid City. You can't tell by this video probably, but they're actually really easy to drive on and nice and clear. My wife decided to record me really quick driving, but anyways, roads are nice and clear here. All right, guys, I'm out here showing you the worst of the worst of Rapid City's weather. Of course, it can get bad. It can get a little bit worse than this even, but this storm was supposed to shut down the whole city. 
I'm downtown Main Street Square right now. Most stuff is closed. But you can kind of see the snow's whipping it a little bit. Um, some things are open down here still, but like I said, majority of it's closed. Like these stores behind me are all closed right here. Um, but just want to give you a realistic look of what the worst of the worst looks like. You know, the worst part of this storm so far is that uh, the wind has been nonstop. And I think it's been up to 60 miles an hour. So it creates these snow drifts. You can kind of tell it piles up uh, from the wind and it gets into piles, but it's kind of sporadic because of the wind, it washes it away in some areas um, and other areas have more snow. So the roads aren't too bad. I'll put in some clips of the road. Highways are always the most clear. So those are nice and clear uh, for you. But this is as bad as it gets basically. And we're supposed to get snow until 8 p.m. Right now it's 4 p.m. that I'm making this video. And um, so I'll do some more clips of that if it gets worse. If it doesn't get worse, I'll just end it where it is. But yeah, this is literally the worst, basically the worst you can expect. There's some anomaly storms that we'll have once in a while. But if you're gonna have bad weather in Rapid City in the winter, this is pretty much gonna be it. Um, you know, they clear the roads, like I said, uh, they get them ready to go. Biggest thing is follow, just follow the car in front of you far back. Um, stop sooner and drive slower. That's about it. But just wanna give everybody a realistic look at how horrible it can get. And to be honest with you, me and I guess a lot of locals probably, I love this kind of stuff. I love the snow. I like to snow ski and I like when there's when it's a snowy day like this. Kind of allows you to, you know, chill out a little bit at home and hang out with your family, go sledding, whatever. So I love the snowy days. If you hate snow though, we definitely do get storms like this sometimes. Obviously, I'm in one at the moment um, and they can happen. There's a nice little wind gust there. So basket in. Oh yeah, there's this ice skating rink behind me. Obviously, not many people out, but you saw there's some cars on the roads, but. Typically this time of day, all these parking spots will be full, uh, but not right now. Now I'm just gonna get a little B-roll of the rest of the city for you. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully it's helpful with your uh, idea of what it's like and the worst of the worst in the winter here um, to see if you can survive that horrible weather if that's what you're so worried about you will get so we usually gets the storm like this um, a couple times a year two or three times maybe i mean it usually lasts a day or two so this is the worst of the worst that i have seen since living here for about six seven years um, so yeah that is a good perspective on it again guys if you're looking at moving here uh, or if you're local and you're curious about buying or selling a house please reach out to me hit the link below to schedule a call with me happy to help and I've never asked for this before, or maybe I have once or twice, but hey, I went out in the weather for you guys. The least you could do, hit the subscribe button for me. I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Peace.